friends have had a lot of subscribers wonder why I've sort of slowed down my video submissions to YouTube lately. The reason why is I've been working with a grant initiative called Work in Burke. And I've been spending a lot of my extra time doing videos that are sort of commercial videos. By that I mean they're videos to promote really um, the, the keeping of industry and the keeping of of students, young people who are getting their education in Burke County to work in our local industries because we're sort of going through a little bit of a, I guess, a renaissance of businesses and industries coming back to Burke County after for years they left. It was it used to be a big furniture area around here, but now some of the furniture is coming back, a lot of other businesses and industries, some of it very high tech. And so I've been working on this series of videos. Now, I want to share these videos with you. They're, they're available otherwise. Um, on YouTube through the Work in Burke website, which is still being finalized. I'm not going to put a link there just yet, probably will in the future, but I've been going to places like uh, like EJ Victor, which is a great furniture company. I've been going to places like uh, Leviton, which makes a lot of, uh, of you know, just really cool electrical devices. So this is a quick little introduction. That's what you're getting ready to see. I'm going to, I'm going to feature one of these videos. I'll put this introduction on all these so people will understand what's going on. reason I'm sharing these I think it's kind of cool to pull back the veil and see what's behind uh, these businesses and the industries. I'm getting to go behind the scenes and seeing what's going on. I'm getting to see people doing their jobs, and it's pretty exciting. It's, it's honestly, it's very visually cool. I'm using the Sony Alpha 6500, A6500 to shoot uh, part of the interviews. I'm doing two camera, two camera interviews, one with the AX33 Sony, the other with the A6500, shooting all my B-roll, the A6500. I think you'll just find it visually kind of cool and fun to watch, and they're interesting. So I'm sharing notes. Hopefully it doesn't turn anybody off. Uh, enjoy the videos. If you don't like the series, you just don't have to watch them, but I think you'll, you'll find them pretty cool. They're fairly short. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. My name is Bobby Carswell, and I've been working here for 12 years, and I started out bottom of the barrel. Started out, they gave me a job here, and it was great. Uh, had a blast working here. Started going to school at the same time. As soon as I started college, the EJ Victor worked with me the entire time and let me take time I needed to get to school, get my grades up. As soon as I finished, we bought a Gerber uh, DCS 3000 uh, CNC fabric cutter. Needed a lot of training on it, of course, but since I went to school, immediately got all the training. It was perfect, everything worked good, and we were up and running with that thing in three months. It's 2D uh, CNC programming. You have to cut patterns on a table usually. It has servos and motors all over it, does everything. It's just like a CNC cutter that you would have from uh, for wood cutouts and metal cutouts and stuff like that, except it's for 2D pattern cutting on a fabric, fabric on a table. EJ Victor's been around for about 27, 28 years. It was started by three men who have furniture in their blood. They came from Hinterdon and they wanted to have a local high-end furniture company. They know how to make furniture and they wanted to kind of insist upon excellence where we still had artisans in the plants and in the factories and yet you know we were agile and willing to learn more and do do things change with the times but hold on to the best of, of furniture making. We make all the upholstery here in Morganton and it's you know all kinds of sofas, chairs, dining chairs. We also have case goods, dining tables, um, chest, desk. Electrical engineering and computer engineering. I have two two-year degrees there, and it took me. I went after after work every every week and every day. <laughs> Definitely having the help from WPCC was very good because I had never owned a computer until I turned 18. I think it's this is pretty much the top notch. <laughs> this is the furniture that everyone wants. We have so much custom work here. Like if you want it done a certain way, it's done that way. Whenever I walk to the end of the line and look at the final inspection and actually see a piece sitting there that I've cut, you know, two or three weeks back and finally get to see it finished, it's like, I'm like, wow, that's what that looks like. <laughs> and it's amazing.